Kiki. The New Zealand police respond to a family violence call out every five minutes. A child is killed every five and a half weeks by a family member. And one in three Kiwi women will be physically or sexually abused by a partner in their lifetime. Those are some incredibly sobering and very scary statistics. Award-winning comedian and Shine ambassador Guy Williams joins us now to tell us all about his involvement in Shine's Lighted Orange campaign and what we can do to help. Welcome, Guy. Thanks so much for having me on the show, guys. Um, first up, Lighted Orange, Shine. I don't see you wearing orange, Guy. Oh, OK. Oh, jeepers. Oh, yeah. Is it getting hot here? Nice. <laughs> wow. The Bachelor's Body Double. Man, I'm uh, doing my absolute best today. I just realised when you were doing that VO how weird it is to have a man doing this. <laughs> yeah, is that not weird? Or is yeah. that fine? Yeah, It's fine. I'm, exci I'm excited. Thanks so much for having me on. Thanks so much for supporting Shine and um, Lighter Orange. Is that your top? Because it looks a bit seasonal. No, I got this out of the John Wynn Penn production bin. <laughs> and it is at least four sizes too small. <laughs> but this is, what, this is what Lighter Orange is all about. Like having a wacky good old time. And uh, making fun of yourself for like the uh, wonderful cause, yeah, the best so, cause. So tell us all about it. What is it all about? Okay, well, domestic violence is a huge problem in New Zealand, and yeah. Shine is a great organisation. There's a lot of all great organisations out there that deal with this issue, but Shine um, is one that has um, uh, put on a week where they can raise awareness and um, hopefully some funds are aiming to get $150,000 this year by people dressing up in orange this week. If you see anyone doing it, yeah. make sure you give generously and. Yeah. Uh, to uh, uh, lighterorange.org.nz to give money and um, I'm doing it as well and you try and wear orange for the week and try and raise some money and some awareness. Awesome. Because so people I don't realise. People yeah. don't know about it. Well, no, no, and you're right. a good person to highlight it, you yeah. know, I think. <laughs> I knew nothing about it. So why did you get involved then? Okay, well that's a very good question. Um, <laughs> okay, so I am in, I've, my dream's always been to new, be a New Zealand crap liberty mm. and I was just stoked that someone called me up and wanted me to be in an ad. Right. I was like, I'll be in an ad for anything and for, when I first called me, I thought it was a cult. They were like, no, because when they caught up and they said it was Shine, I was like, I'm not being in some weird oh, religious right, thing. Okay, yeah. It sounded weird. And when they explained to me what it was, I was like, oh yeah, sure, I'll be part of that. The, I heard the Warriors, the Vodafone Warriors are involved and stuff like that. So I came along to the ad and shot it and I didn't, I'm useless. I didn't read the emails beforehand. I just right. showed up. <laughs> and it wasn't until I started, it wasn't until I started saying the script down the camera that the numbers were like blowing my mind. I had no idea about it. And they were saying stats um, like the ones you just said before. Yeah that like one, it affects one in three women will be affected by sexual and what, or domestic and what, abuse. And a child every five and a half weeks killed by a family member. Killed by a family member. It's, it's terrifying. It's absolutely mind-blowing. And the other thing is that, um, and probably one of the saddest things, is that only 10% of domestic incidents are um, reported to police. And what's really interesting too is that there's a hide my history thing, isn't there? And this is quite interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the hide my history is something that which, which kind of shocked me. On the website, they'll let people, um, they'll teach people how to like um, delete their past history on the internet, something that I've known since I was a young lad. Yeah, well most <laughs> yeah. teenage boys do. Dudes seem to know, but maybe women don't know how to do it. And the idea is that they're worried that maybe um, abusive partners might be looking through and seeing that they're looking up these resources, because Shine's website is a wonderful yeah. place to go if you are um, a victim of uh, domestic abuse. And so they're teaching people how to hide the history so their partner doesn't find out. Which for me was just really mm. scary that people's um, relationships would get to that level. Yeah. And um, one thing I want to note that is quite interesting because whenever I post about this on social media is that um, people always go, whenever I post figures like the ones you said earlier, um, people always go, oh, we're the figures for men. Oh, it's not just women. It, absolutely. And that's a great thing about um, Shine is that they support um, male victims of domestic violence as well, which I think is so important. Yeah. I mean, the incidence isn't as high, but it's still it's very still problematic. And men are way less likely to um, report it just because of the stigmatism around you know, um, being a victim of domestic exactly. abuse. Yeah, it's crazy. You know what I love, Guy? I, I love the fact that you got involved not knowing really what was happening. Yeah, and I ignorant. Can, I can, I, but I can sense your passion about it. You yeah. actually really care about oh, this issue, don't the you? The numbers are harrowing, and almost everyone out there will know someone, or there might be people watching right now. It's so important, and toshine.org.nz is the website if you want to get help. Just search Shine New Zealand. They've got a, um, a line you can call, people you can talk to. Everyone out there, if, you, if you're in doubt about your relationship or someone is... Um, someone, a friend in need, call them and they'll know exactly what to do because a lot of New Zealanders don't know how to deal with it and that's the real You don't know where to go to, that sounds good. It's a hidden epidemic. We need to bring this, that's why I think it's called Shine and that's why it's lighter orange. Yeah. We want to bring it to the forefront so everyone's talking about it and um, we're reducing the levels in New Zealand because it's tragic at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Nice work. Okay, cool. Coming up very soon, we have more from Guy Williams. More? Straight I after to do more. This is awesome. I've never been back before. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome back to the cafe. Guy Williams is with us, and we've been talking about your latest campaign, Shine Light at Orange. How can we help? Again, um, just joined us. How can if, I if, you help? Want, if you want to find out information, toshine.org.nz is the way to um, find out if you need help with right. domestic abuse, male or female, or if you want to find out how you can support the cause as well. Great. Um, okay, let's talk about you. Um, yeah. You you painted yourself orange last year. Yeah. That's me painting. Yeah. So what are you doing this year? Um, well, this, this wearing a against? wearing a cropped off on. I, size is too small. I've been going hard this week. I'm just trying to do everything I can to um, get people to raise. Yeah, to give to give money. I, I don't know. I'd, are, you, are you saying I've got to lift the lift Should the level? Sure, there's some Donald Trump jokes in there yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah, good point. I didn't even yeah. think about yeah. that. He's bright orange. I'm an idiot. Don't worry, guy. I'm here well, for you. Thank you for this material. I'm going to take yeah. one as a writer. Good. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about other things that are going on in your life while we yeah. have the time. You were once voted New Zealand's sexiest man on TV by readers of the TV Guide. Yeah. How did that happen? Well, basically what I did <laughs> is... Well, I don't laugh too much. <laughs> you well, I, if you want to know how to be the sexiest man on TV in New Zealand, yes. and I beat TK from Short on the street, Ooh, so it's a good effort. Yeah. Um, you make a lot of fake email addresses for yourself <laughs> and just vote for yourself like dozens and dozens of times and just harass all friends and family. And I became sexist man on TV. Proudest accomplishment Excellent. of my life. Did you get like a certificate or a little um, yeah, I got a oh, you get a golden a golden oh. trophy for it. It's awesome. Sweet. Yeah, I was proud of it. Um, John and Ben's back now, and it's live. Yeah. Of course, you had a great first. It's episode. not going well. It is not <laughs> going well. Just don't talk about that. Hey, just cut on that. Yeah. So, so yeah. To, we we, we had a rough start. Yeah. But um, from now on, I'm my best behaviour, and we're sailing smooth. Okay. Well, I'm right here with this hand to go like this. If you even <laughs> think about starting any word with an yeah, F. Yeah. 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 No. You I'm best behaviour. You must pinch yourself sometimes, guy. Because is it true that you? I mean. You're Surrounded with all these fantastic comedians, but is it true that you were once, uh, you know, on stage with Di Henwood? You were in a I was his opening act. Opening yeah, act. I opened for Di Henwood. Yeah, how did you get into that? I, I won. I won a stand-up competition. So that was a, that was the biggest time of my life. You kidding? Oh. Opening for Di, he's my comedy hero. Oh. And so now to be able to work alongside these guys is like amazing. I'm living. I'm living the vida loca. It I'm is living pretty the dream. cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, if you weren't a com comedian, what would you be doing? Today? Unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> Easy answer. An unemployed comedian. No, no um, um, I'm not even a very good comedian to be honest. It's just luckily I get paid for it. Um, I, I I would love to be involved in politics. I um, studied political science at uni. And what I found is that I was more interested in like David Longy and like funny politicians yeah. right. than I was in actually making a difference in the world. So I went into comedy as opposed to being like one of those blowhard Winston Peter style politicians who just kind of like yappity yappity yap. <laughs> so I've, I've, I think I've found like a kind of better calling, I think. Would yeah. you ever consider doing politics further down the line? Because having a bit of comedy in your rhetoric is always a good way to engage people. Well, I'm not sure if I'd be the most qualified person to do it, but I like now I like now working comedy into John and Ben or into um, stand up and stuff like that. Working comedy into John and Ben. Working comedy. I mean, I mean to say politics. Oh my goodness. Got <laughs> comedy in John and Ben. But like this, like <laughs> like sh supporting Shine and Light of Orange is a good example. Like, I didn't know domestic violence was a big problem, and now I can. Um, Use John and Ben and various social media platforms and stuff to try and promote, like you know, awareness about domestic violence. So it's really, um, I'm really fortunate to be able to do a little bit of both. And luckily, I'm not in Parliament, so that's a, I think that's a good thing for everyone. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I think it'd be quite good actually. Yeah. yeah. So finally, what can I do to light it orange? Um, absolutely, uh, shine uh, lightitorange.org.nz or to shine. Did just Google it. You don't even know the websites. And um, give money or get involved in the campaign. Support my campaign. Nice. And um, everyone, if you um, have, if you know someone or you're having problems with domestic violence, please um, look into it. Guy Williams, thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me, guys. It's it really, been an absolute pleasure. It's, it's been so much fun. Cheers. Good. Now, the <clears throat> Shine Light at Orange campaign runs until Friday this week. Check out the Light at Orange website for the details and how you can get involved to or donate as well. And you can catch Guy on Jono and Ben 7.30 on Thursdays. Thank you very much, Guy Williams. Cheers, okay, guys. yeah, give him a round of applause. Oh.